Hi friends, today we are going to draw a flow chart to calculate the sum of all digits in a given number. For example, I am having a number 1435. So what are the odd, all the odd, odd digits? The odd 1, 3 and 5 are the odd digits. So the sum of the odd digits are 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 5 equal to 9. So we have to add 1 with the 3 and 5. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 1 9. So for this we are going to draw a flow chart. Okay. So we will go directly go to the flow chart. Start. So logical start. Start. Next we have to obtain a number from the user. So parallelogram is for the input symbol. So input input n and I am initializing a variable two variables which are sum equal to 0 or equal to 0. I am initializing two variables. Sum is to add the sum of the digits. The R is used to calculate the remainder. We will see how to do this in the flowchart. First, I am checking a condition. First, I am checking a condition. If n greater than 0, if n greater than 0. Okay, number greater than 0. Number should be a valid number, it should be greater than 0. Okay, if yes means, if the flow is yes means, I am calculating, I am calculating, okay, the model, okay, R equal to N modulo modulo 10. For example, I am having a number 1435 modulo 10. Okay. 1435 I give a modulo 10 it will return remainder okay, 5. Okay. Then I am checking the given okay it will take the the last digit first. Okay. It will return the remainder 1435 will be divided by n is 1435 will be divided by 10 and return the remainder. 5. Okay, and check. So the digit is stored in the R. Now I am checking. I am checking if R modulo to not equal to 0. So when I divide a number by 2, even number always written 0 odd number always written a non-zero number. So that's why I am checking here R modulo 2 not equal to 0. Okay. So if yes means if it is yes means I am adding I am adding sum equal to sum plus the remainder. Okay. So initially sum equal to sum plus the remainder is get added. So what will happen? Now sum initially will be sum equal to 0. Now if number is 1435 modulo 10 which is 5 that will be added in the sum. Next I am performing integer division. Next I am performing an integer division. That means that okay n equal to n by 10. It is an integer division. It is an integer division. Okay. n equal to n by 10 means integer division means what will happen? 1, 4, 3 uh, by 10 which will give a 1, 4, 3, point 5. Integer division the point 5 will be omitted. Okay. 1, 4, 3, 5 by 10 will give 1, 4, 3, point 5. The 5 will be omitted, the ultimate value is 143. 
the last digit will be removed. So, if it is no means, that means R modulo 2 not equal to 0 means, okay, it is a, it is a it no means R modulo 2 equal to 0. In this case, I am not adding the digit with a sum, just I am increasing, okay, just I am reducing the last digit by n equal to n by 10, okay. Now, I am connecting back to the outer loop, okay. So, here n greater than 0 is true, again the psyche will be repeated, otherwise no means, okay, that means n is become 0. When n is become 0, okay, well, 143 by 10 equal to 143, 143 uh, by 10 equal to 143.5 four, will be 143, again divided by 10, 14, again divided by 10, 1, again will be divided by 10 with 0. So, in this case, okay, then uh, uh, all the digits are extracted and, and uh, store and added with the variable sum if it is a R digit, otherwise it is skipped. So uh, the n is become 0 now. In this case, I will print the sum. I will print print sum. Okay, and I am ending at the flowchart by the logical stop. Okay, ending at the flowchart by the logical stop. Okay, so this is the flow chart. Now we will check how it works. For example, I am giving an input 1435. See, this is my input. Okay, n equal to 1.1435. Okay, I am initializing sum equal to 0, r equal to 0. If 1435 greater than 0 is true, okay, then r equal to n by 10. So r equal to 1, 4, 3, 5, modulo division 10, which will return remainder, R is 5 now. R modulo 2 not equal to 0, I am checking, 5 modulo 2, 5 modulo 2 is 1, not equal to 0 is true. Then sum equal to sum plus R. Sum equal to, okay, sum, the initial value of sum equal to 0 plus 5, sum equal to 5 now. Now, n equal to n by 10. So, this integer division, n is become 1, 4, 3, 5 by 10 equal to 1, 4, 3. The fraction part is get omitted because it is a integer division. Integer division. Okay. So, now what will happen? n equal to n by 10. So, n equal to 1, 4, 3. Again, I am checking. Okay. Second iteration is iteration 1. Second iteration. 1, 4, 3 greater than 0 is true. R equal to 1, 4, 3 modulo 10. 1, 4, 3 modulo 10. The remainder is 3. Okay. 1, 4, 3. When I divide 1, 4, 3 by 10, the remainder is 3. Remainder is stored in R. Okay. Then 3. Okay. 3 modulo 2 not equal to 0 is true. Okay. Sum equal to sum plus R. Okay. Sum, the existing value of sum is 5, so 5, the R value is 3, 5 plus 3 equal to 8, n equal to n by 10, so in the generation, n is become 14 now, so this is second iteration, ok, so we will take a third iteration, so 14 greater than 0, n greater than 0 is true, is true, R equal to 14 modulo 10 which is equal to 4. Now, 4 modulo 2 modulo 2 equal to 0. So, not equal to 0 is false. So, directly go to n equal to n by 10. So, 14 by 10 integer division which is equal to 1. Okay. So, now the iteration number 4. We will check Okay, n is 1 now, 1 greater than 0 is true, r equal to n modulo 10, so r equal to 1 modulo 10, in this case what will happen, the, if the 1 is lesser than 10, that is why it return the value 1, okay, r is become 1 only, so r modulo 2, so r 
modulo 2. That means what is it? Okay, that means 1. Okay. 1 modulo 2 which is equal to 1. Okay, because 1 is lesser than 2. 1. Which is not equal to 0. Not equal to 0 is true. Sum equal to sum plus r. Sum equal to what is the existing value of sum is 8. Okay. 8 plus 1 which is equal to 9. n equal to n by 10. n equal to 1 by 10 which is equal to 0. Okay. So 0 point 1 and the fraction part 1 will get omitted. Finally, I am checking n greater than 0 now. Now what will happen? Okay. Now n greater than 0 is false. So 0 greater than 0 is false. It will print the value of sum. What is the value of sum? Sum equal to 9. So your output output equal to okay 9. So how 9? R digits are added in the input 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 equal to 9 okay so it works correctly okay in this way only the flow chart is working okay that's it this is the flow chart to calculate the sum of the R digits in the given number thanks for watching this video those say to subscribe to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel for the fourth coming videos and follow ups thank you